Hey guys, I wanted to spend just a moment to share a little devotion with you. I think this summer we're going to put out uh, just a couple of uh, videos to encourage you guys, give you tips on how to uh, grow in your walk with Christ and, and continue to stay focused on Him. And So uh, today I wanted to talk on the topic of contentment. As I was out driving today, I, I passed somebody's freshly mowed lawn and was like, man, that's a nice lawn. And, I would love to have a lawn that size and a yard that size. And here we are as a family here in, in the end of July in a few uh, months, getting ready to move into a new home that God has really blessed us with that I'm extremely thankful for. And um, and yet this, this little ounce of discontentment crossed my mind as I look at somebody else's yard and realize that, that they have something that I'm not going to have. And, and I had to, to take a moment to stop and, and to refocus my mind back on God. And I think we all go through these things, these times of, of discontentment. They, they tend to slip up into our mind. We live in a day and age where we can scroll through social media, see someone on vacation and wish we were at the beach. Or we can look at what somebody's driving at the house next to us and wish that we were going to get their car. Or um, we, we, can, we can be jealous over somebody's... Uh, haircut or style or, or things that they get to uh, have and and this this ounce of contentment can, can start to come in and, and really affect the way we have an attitude and outlook towards life and the Bible actually has a few things to say about this and in fact when when Paul says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me in Philippians 4 13 verse we all know well um, it comes out of these thoughts of learning to be content with whatever he has and those two verses right before it says, Not that I speak from one, for I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstance. I know how to get along with humble means. And I also know how to live in prosperity. And I also know how in every circumstance I have learned the secret of being filled or going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He says all of this, and comes to the conclusion that he is going to learn to be content with whether he has a lot or a little because Christ is going to be the one to supply his need. He takes this same thought and he shares it with Timothy. And in 1 Timothy chapter 6, he says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. And he reminds Timothy... Um, to, to learn to live with contentment. There's great godliness in showing that God, and understanding that God is supplying our needs and uh, learning to live, to walk with Him, no matter how little or how much we have, and, and using that for His glory. So the next time you're scrolling through social media, the next time you look out into your neighbor's yard or your neighbor's stuff, um, the next time you, you see what a friend has, when you're hanging out with them, just remember to be content with what God has given you. And that godliness with contentment is great gain. Definition of, of content, one that, that I think that can help us through this time and be a reminder, is that um, learning to be happy with what you have and not jealous or not despise what you don't have. Um, it's really understanding that God has given us the things that we need, and He's going to continue to do that, and um, to to live by humble means, whatever that looks like for you. So I hope this is encouraging to you, and uh, remember this week to be content with the things that you have, and I also remind myself to be content with the things that God has blessed me with, um, and I, I live and turn those back to be used for his glory. So remember, uh, go out and glorify God and make Jesus known this week. We love you and uh, have a great week.